With keywords that describe your topic, you can construct an effective search in the library's databases. So, what are databases? They are searchable online collections of resources, including books, videos, and journal articles, usually focused on a specific subject or range of subjects. These resources are free for you to use in your research. It's important to know that library databases do not work the same way as Google. The library's databases do not understand natural language, or how we would normally talk. This is why keywords and phrases are so important. They will help you to make the database work for you to find resources that you need. Let's see how this works in an example. The database I'm starting with is called Academic Search Premier, which is one of our largest multidisciplinary databases. My topic is about plastic pollution in the ocean, so I'm going to use plastic pollution and ocean as my keywords. You will notice that there is an option called AND that connects both of my search boxes. This is called a Boolean operator, which can help you narrow your results or broaden them. I'm sticking with AND for now, which means the database will show me results that must contain both of my keywords somewhere in the journal article information. Think of the Boolean operators as a type of filter the database has to ensure you get relevant results. You can see that this search found over 500 results. Journal articles that you can immediately download have either an HTML or PDF full text option, or both. There are other database filters to think about as you construct your searches in the library databases. One you should be aware of is the ability to limit your search results to show only those articles from scholarly peer-reviewed journals, which your instructors will require you to use in your research projects. Going back to my search, I checked the box next to scholarly peer-reviewed journals, and that brings my search down to over 400 results. For one of the results, you can see that there is no PDF link. Instead, there is a button that says check for full text. When you see this button, it means that the library does not have access to that journal article in this database. However, if you click that button, it will take you to a separate page that will list any other databases that may have full text access to this journal article. Another database filter to be aware of is the ability to limit your search results to show only those journal articles that we have the full text available. This means that you would not need to go to another database to find an article or request the article through electronic interlibrary loan. If you don't want to see results that have a check for full text button, you can go back to the database and check the box next to full text. Going back to my search, I checked the box next to full text and it brought my results down from over 400 results to just over 50 results. If you have any questions about constructing an effective search, please contact the Chrysler Library for help.